edition of Grammar Check, we are going to look at two phrases and one word. And I'm here once again with my co-host, Winifred Wilson. Welcome. Thank you. So what do we have today under the grammatical expressions? So we have the word staff. Spelled. S-T-A-F-F. Okay. And the second one? And the second one, tight frame. That's okay. the phrase. Okay. And finally, we have time changes. Interesting. Please stay tuned. We'll return with more. So can we have the first example under staff? Okay. So the first example... We have, he is a staff of St. Martin's Senior High School. Interesting. Is this right or wrong? It's wrong. It's wrong. What should we know? Oh, we should know that the correct one should be, he is a staff member or member of staff of St. Martin's Senior High School. Wow. Why this? Okay, so when we have the word staff, yes. it's a collective now. Okay right which describes a group of people yes a group of people um who work for an organization or an institution. institution so therefore you can't single out one person and say the person is a staff of um an institution or the organization yes it's best to say the person is a staff member, member. that means the person is part of the membership of the institution or organization okay so if you say staff you are trying to refer to a crowd Mm -hmm. Just an example. So if you want to single out a person from the group, which is a collective noun, you make it, he is a member of staff or a staff, a staff member. member. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Please stay tuned. We will return with the second one, which is tight friend. Kenny Radio. The second one is very common, Winifred. <laughs> tight yes. friend. Am I right to say Winifred it's my tight friend. It's wrong. Interesting. We've been mm -hmm. using this all along. We do. So, so what should times. we know? What's the well, right you say? can say Winifred is my close friend. Okay. Yes. Any other alternative? Oh, Winifred is my bosom friend okay. or intimate friend. Interesting. When you use the word intimate, it sounds or rings a different bell in our <laughs> world today. Yes. You know, so can you educate us? on why intimate should be accepted um intimate can be accepted because when you're intimate with someone you see in a modern world it doesn't necessarily mean that you're having sex with the person okay you see i can be intimate with you as a friend um because i'm close to you okay so this brings to mind the figure of speech we we looked at the last time and that's homony. Homony, Good. yes. Meaning the word is spelled the same, the same pronounced the, pronounce the same, same, but can have different meanings. Can have different meanings. Also. Okay, so the same word, same pronunciation, same spelling, but different meanings. Meaning. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. So the intimate as seen here simply means close friends. Exactly. Okay. So that's what we should know. Instead of saying tight friend, we say close friend, bosom friend, or, or intimate, intimate friend. friend. Can we know the reason? Okay, so tight cannot be used to describe a relationship or friendship. Okay. You see, we, we can tighten a knot or okay. I can have something tight sure. on me, like maybe a tight dress, a tight trousers. So, in effect, tight means fixed, fasting, or drawn together firmly. Firmly, yes. Okay. And we are not drawn together firmly. Firmly, no. So, <laughs> Tight is not used to refer to relationships. Yes. Okay, yes, exactly. okay, okay. So as you said, we can have a tight knot, tight trousers. Or a tight dress. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much for the insight. We You're will welcome. return with the last phrase under this segment. Please stay tuned. So, um, Winifred, the last phrase under this segment, we have what? Time changes. Time changes. So what do we have to know or what should we know about time changes? Because people use it a lot. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I have something here. Let me read it. Okay. It says grammatically the expression is correct. But semantically, that is in terms of meaning, it's not appropriate. In that the time being referred to in the expression is not time as measured by the clock. Okay. Yeah. Rather, it is the changes in circumstances at different times in a person's life or in the development of something. 
so for example from changes changes from wealth to poverty or good times to bad times and vice versa as well so in effect the expression or the phrase time changes is not wrong mm. but context wise it is wrong wrong yes so if i say time changes then i'm referring to the time changing on a clock mm -hmm. from one second to the other to the other from one minute to the other from an hour to the other but if i want to refer to change in circumstances then i have to say what times, times change. change so times will change from poverty to wealth from bad to, to good, good and vice versa yes. that's how we should be using this particular phrase Certainly. so depending on the context if i'm referring to the fact that the time on the clock mm -hmm. has changed then, then i say what time, time changes, changes. But if i'm referring to a change in circumstance then i should say times, times change. change did you ever know this mm -hmm. i guess the answer is no today you are aware you've been informed so use it wisely hello and welcome back to the second segment on today's show and we have our era buster and for today's word we have v i n e y e r d let's take that together v i n e y e r d how do you think this word is mispronounced vineyard so what should be the correct pronunciation vineyard vineyard so yes. in effect when you have v i n e that word is vine, vine. but if you have the yard added to the vine and it changes from vineyard to what? Vineyard. vineyard. Thank you so much. And this is what the Arab Buster does. It affords our viewers and listeners the opportunity to learn the correct pronunciations of English words. Please stay tuned. We will return with the penultimate round, which is our idiomatic expression. And I am Victor, here with Winifred. So for our penultimate round, we have our idiomatic expression. And for today's idiomatic expression, we have leave no stone unturned. Leave no stone unturned. Can you give us the meaning, please? Um, it means to try every possible means wow. to get something done. Please take that again. Leave no stone unturned means to try every possible means to get something done interesting please do you have any examples to that effect yes yes can we do. have them please so the fixed example reads the doctor promises to leave no stone unturned to find cure for his illness interesting do we have any other yeah Kofi said he will leave no stone unturned in order to prove her innocence thank you so much we will return with the final segment that's a figure of speech do not forget to follow us on all our social media handles on twitter on facebook at penny gh and on youtube subscribe to our channel at penny gh please stay tuned so what do we have for our figure of speech today being our last segment on the show what do we have there Sarcasm. Sarcasm spelled S A R C A S M. Let's take that again. Sarcasm spelled S A R C A S M. Can we get the meaning of sarcasm as a figure of speech? Okay, so the meaning the meaning is uh, an ironical expression of remark intended to wound or hurt a person's feeling. And do you have any other meaning apart from that? A, a bitter, which is often witty, or a way of writing or speaking. The purpose being to make someone, um, something or idea seem wrong or ugly. Can we get any examples to that effect? Yes. Okay. So when someone does something that's wrong, you be like, very good, well done. Wow. The person does something that is wrong, mm -hmm. but you are applauding the, applauding person, the person for person. doing the wrong thing. Yes. That's sarcasm. Intended to mock the, the person. person's mistakes. Yes. Interesting. We will return to wrap up on today's edition of Grammar Check. Please stay tuned.
welcome back to our concluding part of the show we are here to say goodbye we want to implore each and every one of us to be agents and ambassadors of peace ahead of the 2020 general elections until then i am yours truly victor yetler and winifred wilson goodbye